Hey everybody, right, my name crash. is Black Trap. Welcome side. back to, to find Crash Mind school. Over Mutant. Last time, we traveled throughout the Red Skull Kingdom all the way to here, the prison. And this time, we're in the prison. And we get to run around and look for information on Nina's school. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be attacked by all these turrets, but that's not really that big a deal, because again, you can just send them back. Uh, send the projectiles back, that is. Um, I just so happen to have missed a freeze burn in the last episode, but I mentioned where to get it, how to get it, and I'll show it off in the bonus video anyway, so I know that I mentioned that, but just, just in case uh, you're starting with this one and you're wondering what's happening, that's what's happening. <laughs> break them, break them to it gently, get 10 times multiply. So I was unable to actually reach the 20 times multiplier, which is really upsetting. Uh, but this would be the final Frieza Burn Voodoo Doll right over there. And the way to get it is by climbing up these ice walls over here. Uh, try and get this one as early as you can. Like, if you can get it now, the better. Because later on, this area will have uh, gusts of wind. Which is funny, because I don't remember them having gusts of wind you know, on normal mode. Um, which I've noticed that sometimes the platforming is a little different uh, in... Wait, was that three or four? Shit. If that, was, if that was three, then that means the one that I missed was four, which means that I'm actually missing one. Which I don't know if I got it. Though. Fuck, I don't even know if I if I got the last freezer burn. Now that I think about it. Okay, never mind then. I take that one back. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Not that big a deal. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah! I, I never got the 20 the 20 times multiplier. Also, for whatever reason, this C block I just kept falling like through. Like I I don't know why. Like I just kept walking off the edge. I was just holding left, and then Crash would just walk up, and then he would just fall. It was really annoying. I fell like three or four times. I ended up splicing that out. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Why climbing I die? Crash, you can jump to another climbable area. But yeah, um, just press the jump button. Forget that last voodoo doll that we just picked up as soon as possible because uh, there's a gust of wind. And I don't remember that happening on normal, which to me tells me that the platforming is also slightly different on hard mode. But I don't really have much proof on that. Also, I might just be misremembering. Um because I only remember the gust of wind in that first area with the Ratsicle. Remember when we were running across the bridge and we had to like jump across those little platforms? Uh, near Engine's house? Like right over there is the only place where I remember the wind, so... Seeing the wind all over the place is uh, interesting. Hear that crash? The entrance to the school must be near the rat village. I didn't hear any of that, but okay. Let's go to the rat sickles kingdom crash. Sure. Uh, this little frozen, what looks like a Magmadon actually is what that looks like. Uh, don't worry about him. We'll be coming back through here later and he won't be here. Uh, those are like TKs. Oh, by the way, yeah, we didn't see the TK last episode. We're going to be seeing them this episode. I, for whatever reason, thought I spliced this part um, of the footage onto the last video, but I, I guess I didn't. I don't remember, because I, I don't know, it's weird. Also, over here uh, will be kind of important later on, too. Uh, just keep in mind that over here we'll be meeting a frozen ratsicle. Uh, I, I, I think this is where it was, at least. But yeah, we'll be cool. Um, keep in mind this place uh, during the bonus video. I'll have to remember to say, talk about that <laughs> when we get there. So for this area right here, in order to receive our new mutant, the TK, we need to uh, fight off a few ratsicles and a few uh, rat girls. Honestly, I find fighting the Ratsicles a little easier with Crash, just because I, like, stunlock them, and I could always just break their guard. 
but the goal is to uh, take a Ratsicle. I said, take a Ratsicle. I said, take a Ratsicle. We got to freeze one of these geysers, most likely this one, and we climb up here and hit this button. That side has a gold mojo, the other side has a health wumpa fruit. Uh, when you press a button, the other side will activate, which means we have to press the other button, but we also fight off some brack girls and some more lancicles. Um, yep, and there's the annoying fucking megaphone that I dislike. They not only break your multiplier, but if you're fighting a mutant, they will set you up to get hit by the mutant attack. Uh, the megaphone doesn't affect mutants, to my knowledge, in terms of stunning them, but it does count as an attack, so if you get hit by their megaphone as a mutant, you won't be stunned, but you will lose your multiplier, which honestly is a worse fate than being stun comboed, personally. <laughs> Uh, over here is another crash grab that you can get without uh, awakening the TK, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, I'm not sure what I was doing. I think I saw a ledge, or a potential ledge, and I was wondering if that was anything I could do, but it wasn't. It's just a detail on the wall. Uh, just get in the habit of, I guess, killing off the mut the mutants, I guess. I mean, you can ignore these ones, because these are just ratsicles and really can't do much to you. Uh, but get in the habit of killing some of the mutants, because some of these mutants can attack you from a distance, and especially TKs, uh, which we're going to be meaning in a little bit. The TKs are kind of annoying because they're a ranged enemy, so even if you're not necessarily near them, they can still annoy you. But yeah, we don't need a TK to grab this crash grab. Um, I want that health. <laughs> what you can do is you can stand up here with the Ratsicle and then jump off, grab the ledge, and then jump up and grab the crash grab. But since I'm an idiot, I uh, missed and I spent like two minutes trying to get back up there and was unable to, so I said, fuck it. Auto unlock TK, probably, probably one of my favorite mutants in this game, I think. Why the TK is a Michael Jackson uh, reference? I do not know. Oh, you're gonna like this one, Crash. This Titan can throw <laughs> enemies around using the power of its uh, mind. How can he do it? Kind of Science. a. It's pretty much like referencing Bill Cosby nowadays. You know, like that reference didn't really hold up too much, too well, right? <laughs> I mean, I like Michael Jackson music and whatever, but that one did not age well. But yeah, so what you can do is you could still just uh, move it. It took me forever until I realized I could just jump up there with a spin jump. Oh, what a day. Uh, I spent like another two minutes there. You guys don't need to see that. Trust me, it was just me like failing jumping up there. I spent like a good 10, 15 minutes just trying to get up there. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> but yeah, TKs. So TKs can use uh, their telekine telekinetic powers by pressing square. Uh, if you hold square, I believe it acts the same as holding R1 and square, which is how to grab things with their mind. And they can throw things with R1. Uh, I don't believe they have an L1 attack, like something you can target and pull down. but they do have a triangle attack, which if you hold triangle, you can do that. It's like an area of effect thing. But if you tap it, you can just do like a little force push ability. Uh, it's really slow. Uh, it kind of rivals like the Magrodon in terms of attacking slowly, but what I like about the TK better than the Magmadon is that the Magmadon, I mean uh, the, 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 the TK is a hell of a lot faster than most of the other mutants actually. I would say the TK is on par with another really fast mutant that we'll be seeing much later, probably in the next episode or the next two episodes, something like that. Um, uh, yeah, TK is great. 
Also, his jump is really nice because he can hover for a little bit. Uh, making some platforming situations a lot easier. And you can control him mid-air. Uh, very, very slightly, but you can control him mid-air, which is nice. So I really like the TK. I think the TK is one of my favorites. Um, mutants. You just dodge that slow-ass attack. Here's a TNT bomb for you. Cool beans, cool beans. Uh, I don't necessarily. I, I don't necessarily like the TNT design in this game. Uh, in terms of like comparing it to the older games, I think just the older games, like three, two, one method, was a lot more comprehensive. But everything. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at the TK shadow. The shadow is all angular and stuff. It's weird. <laughs> like weird looking. It's funny. Anyway. So we're going to uh, spin on this, and oh, I didn't do that right. So we're going to spin on this until we can't spin it on no more. There we go. And then we're going to switch back to the TK, and we're going to run back to that closed gate that we saw to grab an instant level for Crash. Um, boop. There we go. So the cool thing about the TK2 is that um, if you ever played Mario Galaxy, you can point the cursor at the screen to pick up the star bits. Well, the TK can actually do that too. Uh, I, I think he's the only mutant that can do that, actually, to my knowledge. Now that I think about it. Um, yeah, he can he can grab mojos from a distance, and you don't have to necessarily attack to grab him. You could just point the cursor over it with the R1 button, and he'll he'll grab it, which is nice. Um, yeah, TK is one of my favorites. I like him a lot. I like how fast he is. I like how good of an attacker he is. Like, he can just keep his distance and, like, throw mutants around, stopping them from pretty much attacking. But dealing with TKs, on the other hand, dealing with them is fucking annoying. So when you're fighting a TK, uh, they're very weak defensively when you're battling them, on, battling them as Crash. But that move right there... Um, you can't hit them when they're doing that. You can only counter them. And if you run up and they start that thing, and you're not crashed, you're going to get hit. Um, they, they also have, like, ranged telekinetic attacks that aren't just grabbing you. They can, like, shoot telekinetic balls at you, which is fucking annoying. Granted, I believe you can send those back at them. But a lot of the times they'll be attacking you off screen, so you won't be seeing it coming until, like, you're already getting hit. And they're fast, too. They're, like, super fast. Uh, so keep that in mind. Yeah, TK's great, though. No, uh, they're just annoying to fight. Try avoiding fighting the TKs as much as possible, unless you necessary unless you really need them. Also, uh, these platforms will sink, so you don't want to be on them for too long. And uh, that's about it, pretty much. Remember this area for later. We're gonna be coming back here a little later. Oh, yeah, this freezer burn. That's right. I forgot about this one. So this is the last freezer burn. Uh, I guess I did get them all, but just off camera, <laughs> or rather in the bonus video. But yeah, that's the technical last freezer burn that you're gonna be getting. Um, Again, the last one's on the br- Ah, fuck you. Damn it. See, they're just annoying. But you can grab them. Uh, TKs are annoying to deal with, though, because what they can also do- And there's the invincibility right there. What they can do is grab you off your Titan and then just kill you. <laughs> Pretty much just kill you. If you if you get trapped with their, their telekinetic attacks, it's, it's game over. Just give up. <laughs> they're fucking annoying, man. I don't like fighting them. At least not on hard mode. But yeah. Would I recommend playing this game on hard mode? Um... I don't know. I mean, it's not really any different than normal mode, other than, like, the mutants are more annoying to deal with. But, uh, every I mean, everything else is pretty much the same. Except for, like, maybe the platforming. It, I guess some of the platforming challenges slightly change, but 
that also might just be me misremembering or just the game being buggy in general. Because like I mentioned before, the game is really buggy. Uh, really annoyingly buggy. <laughs> Do I personally think this is a good game? I mean, I enjoyed it. I, and every time I play it, I, I I always enjoy playing it. But I'm not necessarily sure if it's like a good game. Maybe it's more of a mediocre game, I'd say. I still haven't really decided on my final rating on this game. Uh, on how long to beat, I believe I gave it a 6 out of 10. Uh, I wrote 6.5 in the review, but like I can only, I can only score it as a 6 because they don't do points. Uh, although you could do like percentages, which I guess is better than the out of 10 points, but whatever. Anyway guys, that about does it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.